Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel of NASCAR 21 Ignition. Today we are doing a last to first challenge at Homestead at Miami Speedway as Daniel Suarez in that comp scope at number 99 Chevrolet Camaro. Let's see if we can pull it off here at Homestead. Alright, getting ready to go here on a controller this time by the way. So on the video on Friday I was on a wheel. Uh, and it actually played pretty good. You know, the AI didn't play good, obviously, but the, the game actually, the car and stuff, it, it played pretty well uh, with driving and whatnot. But on the controller, it's a completely different scenario here. It drives so much different when you're on a controller. Uh, and you have to be a lot more, I guess, careful, I guess you could say here, uh, as we go down into turn three. Okay, okay. What the crap was that? My goodness. Okay, we're restarting. That was so stupid with the AI there they did not they didn't even the 27 didn't even like try to give me room he's just like you know what we're three wide I'm just gonna drive right into you and I am sliding all over the place here goodness me all right let's try that again shall we there's the 27 decided they were gonna be just a, a goblin in the last attempt here and he's gonna pull up in front of us that was kind of my fault there now is I'm gonna try and not be too silly here. I do want to wreck that 27, but we're going to be smart and see if I can make some passes around the outside here. That's kind of where I want to be is like up here. I feel like I'm most safe from getting right hooked into the barrier. Kind of like what just happened. Of course, the risk here is getting loose like that and then going down into cars. So it's like there's, there's a risk on either way just with the controller. On the wheel, you have so much more control, uh, especially in this game. But, oh, yeah, we can definitely, we can definitely work with this, though. I feel like this is going to be our best option here. The only downside uh, that's uh, not a part of the whole getting loose and getting left hook is, as well, the fact that we got to be a lot more patient up here because a lot of drivers are trying to cover that outside here now as we head down into turn three and just kind of letting this thing float through the corners. They're going to uh, slide up in front of me there. But look at that. We're up into P32 already denny hamlin why are you so far back here i wonder cannot wait to see what happens in nascar in miami this weekend uh as you guys know i've said it before my favorite track on the nascar cup series schedule miami martinsville is always right there with it uh however i think the race is gonna suck this year at martinsville but let me know who you guys have in the comments to win uh this video should be going out the day of miami so let me know who you have to win today i'm gonna go with tyler reddick is going to win uh, at Homestead, Miami, get his fourth win of the season. Uh, that's my prediction there. He's been so good. Um, you know, road course is mile and a halves. Uh, he's really good, of course, at riding the wall. You look at him, you look at Larson, Briscoe. I think those guys will be really strong. It'd be hilarious if Briscoe somehow makes the final four. Uh, but nonetheless, as we exit turn two, side by side with Corey LaJoy. Oh, man, he wasn't enjoying that one as we continue to try and work our way into the top 25. We've kind of slowed down a little bit, actually, now, as I'm going to try and get a nice run here. Through 3-0 oh, into the outside wall. That's not a big deal. Is that BJ McLeod up there? No, that's, I think that's Davidson, who's having a really good run in the Rick Ware Racing Machine. Larson with a bit of a run on us as well here now, as we just continue to do this. We continue to run up right by the wall and just kind of slowly cruise past this is a little risky right here i didn't want to push the issue with ty dylan oh 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 okay we're okay damage is turned off here thankfully otherwise that would have been a complete disaster here now as i am really struggling to get past this group of cars right here which is not surprising look how like clumped up they are and it is so difficult to pass them i'm gonna just get right to the back of the 24 here and then as we head down into turn one I'm going to go for it. Here we go. Nice little opportunity there. Oh, into the wall again. No. My goodness, I am choking. All right, here we go. We got to go. We got we to gotta make this happen here now. Get the elbows out. Come on now. See you later, Ty Dylan. Go to the outside. Maybe even Kozlowski. He leaves the room. There we go. We kind of just made up for a few laps of worth. But look at that. We're like a, a ways behind the leader here so we just got to kind of commit we got to go for it now no waiting around here i'm in the outside wall that's what we don't need to be doing though however because look at the time we give up there 17 of christopher busher up the inside now but we're going to be able to hopefully get clear as we come through three and four we're only in the 19th place you know what i honestly thought we were going to be able to beat this challenge and in, in in the first attempt here uh but I don't think we're going to actually beat the last of first challenge. Uh, it was last a question mark challenge is what it's actually called. This car drives so stupidly bad on a controller. <laughs> why does it do that? I just want to know, Motorsport Games, why as we continue. P18, come on, we got to go. 
There's one position there. I'm going to get aggressive, and so is Austin Dillon. So I'm going to stay behind Austin Dillon and let him actually go to the inside. We only have five laps to go, and we're not even in the top ten yet. I'm going to get in the outside wall. That time it wasn't too bad, so we can kind of continue just as quick. That spotter does not stop talking, just kind of like me, actually, uh, as we are going to get ahead of that three car who's drag racing here down this back straight away. Bubba Wallace, Justin Haley, and as well, AJ Allmendinger, the next cars we are going to attempt to pass right here. We are ripping the top. I'm going to try and do a little switch back here and go to the inside of Bubba. Didn't quite work uh, now as I don't want to be on the inside of anybody, to be honest here. In the corner, I don't trust these AI, especially here. So we're going to go back to the top. Oh, contact with Allmendinger now as we continue. Oh, it's close. Come on. Out of turn two, three wide down the back straightaway. Almondinger and Bubba, they're running into each other. They got some beef. You better hope you don't get right hooked down a straightaway, AJ. As we are now going to get towards 12th place. Stenhouse for 11th. Gilliland for 10th. We are on the move late in this race. I mean, never say never. However, you see the leader is in the middle of one and two. And we only have three laps remaining. I just don't see a, a possible way or outcome where this kind of works out in our favor. But maybe a top five is not out of the cards here now as we are going to slip and slide my god that car is the car is so dank on a controller there's no other way to put it now as we're going to come through rip that top again in three and four don't hit the wall oh there it is not again we've hit the wall so many times in this race but you're going to see i'm sure that happened quite a few times in real life this weekend as well two laps ago only p10 eric jones is our next target can we get there we can absolutely get there. Hello, Eric Jones, right to the back of that 43. A great run for this 43 as we head down into turn three. And, oh, it's so close. It's so close. I touched the wall for sure right there. A little bit loose on the exit of the corner. We really fell off. We fell off quite hard late in this race here. And he's going to slice to the inside. One lap to go. So what's it going to be? P40 to what looks like potentially P9. As long as we don't choke. If I get a good enough run through 1 and 2. I mean, never say never for the pass on Almarola. That was a pretty good turns 1 and 2. If we just maybe... Do we send it in 3 and 4? That's the question here. Do I absolutely go for it? I think I'm going to just sail it off in here. Hope for the best. It's not really going to be any gain whatsoever, as you can see there. And out of turn four for the final time. The last of what challenge? It's going to be P9. So last to ninth place here in Homestead, Miami. I mean, I'll take that. That wasn't too shabby there. But we definitely could have won that, in my opinion. But we just left too much on the table battling with that pack of cars. Chase Elliott is going to win. The last of first challenge. If you guys enjoyed, you know what to do. That is going to wrap it up for us here today from Homestead, Miami. Hope you guys enjoyed the cup race this weekend. Have a great day, everybody.